My name is Monty Geiger, or Lamont. I was hired by Merv Sear Bloom in 1974 from the Seattle AGC chapter. And I moved over here with my family in 74 and uh, came to work in the office with uh, Hively, Sam Guess, Paul Sturmer, Carolyn, and uh, Cedar Bloom. And, uh, been, and then I left here in 82 and went to work for Max Kinney Company and retired from them 21 years ago. Well, I think the, the, the biggest issue was uh, labor. At that particular time, it was, uh, as I remember, we argued for 25 cents an hour increase. It was too much. So that's how times have changed a long, long time ago. The volcano eruption down uh, in uh, western Washington that came over here with all the silt and it covered completely about five, four or five inches of fine silt. And at that particular time, Cedar Bloom, we talked to him about having a local basketball team that was going to go back east and play in some in international he was pulled by Bill Ames at the university and uh, Dwayne Randiger at West Valley. And uh, my son played on it. And so we came down here and cleaned up all of the ash off of the parking lot. And it was two or three times bigger than the AGC's parking lot now. And we saved all of the ash and put it in little tiny I think they're four or five inch plastic vials and it was a cork on top and had a little insignia that says Mount St. Helens eruption, I think like you say 1980, blah blah blah. Well it created havoc over here. It was the biggest uh, event I think in AGC history. It shut down everything, cars, everything. And uh, one of the things about it was they saved a whole bunch of this ash in these little vials. The contractors gave them out. It was a big deal for the AGC. And I think Cedar Bloom took a bunch of them back east and gave them out at the international meetings and so on and so forth. But it was quite an event. Uh, the place was absolutely pitch dark. I could be talking like I am to you right now and I wouldn't be able to see you. That's how thick it was. I just wanted to improve the safety end of it. That's when I was hired. And that was a, a tough sell. Because originally I went to the OSHA conference in San Francisco with Bob Curry, who was a vice president of Western Bridge in Seattle. He was the safety chairman there. And did a lot of training. I went out and talked to all the contractors what they needed to do and how to do it. It was a hard sell because it was all new, but and you look at the bottom line, what they could save on industrial insurance and other costs made a very big difference in the long run. It was tough. Uh, there was uh, very, very competitive for union and open shop work. That was very, very tough because we did have at the AGC at the time, we did have open shop contractors and we had union contractors. So some of the meetings were interesting to say the least. <laughs> They were good. They were nice to work with, very pleasant, especially 
the girls in the office staff were good. And Raul Harrigus, that came on the staff right after I did, uh, he was working uh, with the unions on pension and stuff like that. So you know, we just had good conversations all the way around. But Carolyn and Mary Gregory were great people to work with. When I uh, graduated from the University of Washington, I had a friend that got me into the county inspection. I was a utility and right-of-way inspector. Uh, I graduated in business and uh, my first job was out in the Northeast Lake Washington Union uh, District. Sewer, water, any. In fact, I shut down Murphy Brothers twice. And uh, two or three other contractors come over and did work, but that's how I got really started. And then I was there about a year and a half and uh, I got hired by the Mountain Pacific chapter of AGC and that just started right before the safety and they wanted a combination of somebody who had his feet dirty and knew a little bit about construction and so that's how they got started in it. Well in Seattle it was the loop tunnels for Dravol Company out on the runways. They were shut down because the loop tunnels went underneath the existing runways where the planes were parked and stuff, about 45 feet down. And uh, they were shut down by Washington Labor and Industries because of the slope. And they were worried about the planes falling in and doing all this stuff. So we designed and helped put a system together that provided the safety and it worked out fine. I think the character of contractors, they seem to get a lot better. They were not a lot more, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, public wise. They knew when to be good, when to be bad and not to be bad. <laughs> but uh, the equipment got bigger and better. Uh, I think their relationship with uh, labor got better. I think it's uh, turned over pretty much now because when I was at CUNY, I served uh, on pensions and health and security trusts. And they were a mess originally. Now I guess they're getting up to be pretty well balanced. But there's, you know, it's a big change. Uh, it's just, you're talking dollars versus pennies way back when. I thought it was the elite of the elite. And I, and I just enjoyed working here. Uh, the big part of it was the people that you, that you dealt with the staff and, uh, and the contract. Don Herrick was just a gem as far as I'm concerned. He, he talked to me quite a few times about what we're doing and what he were doing. And uh, he was just down to earth and I just loved that even though he ran a multi-million dollar company and it didn't, nothing seemed to bother him. Uh, Bill Murphy. Hey, Marty, what are you doing? He was a, another individual that was just, I never forgot him. And of course, Jeff Cuny and his dad. Two of the smartest people I ever met to know. No, I just was very unfortunate to be associated with him. That's a long time ago that I've retired too. That's <laughs> I can think about that. We are the AGC.